Good evening. Hello. <laughs> Just great that he's ready, isn't it? We'll go live. Yeah. Okay, so good. You can see there's a few of you waiting already, so that's lovely. Thank you for waiting for us. Thank so, you. my name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are with Juicy Crafts. So, yes. So, good. Um, so, I'm just going to, yeah, that's kicking in there. Yeah, cool. Oh, cool. Excellent. All right, just checking that our live feed is up and running. Yeah. So, good. All right, so, um, yes, we are your um, independent Stamping Up demonstrators based here in the UK and based in Stoke to be specific. I'm going to say Pacific then. <laughs> I'm going to let Jay continue talking. He's got this down to a fine art. So if you live in the UK, France, <laughs> Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, there are. <laughs> Honestly, we haven't had a drink yet. <laughs> You'll be able to purchase current Stampin' Up! products from our online shop. Uh, every week we tend to put out a couple of uh, videos with card making inspirations and ideas using Stampin' Up! products. So if you would like to subscribe and uh, like our page and channel that'll be amazing good cool Excellent. so this week uh, we've been creating with masculine theme projects really it started off with the global stamping video hop so the theme for that was masculine so we thought we'd kind of like continue with the theme and for that video if you haven't seen uh, Barry created this card this one is actually in the blog using the country club DSP uh, and uh, retire. Well, it's retired, retired, but it's in the clearance. But it's clearance, so Apparently. it's cheap at the moment. It's the stained. Oh, I've gone blank. Of what it's called down? Stained glass. Vellum. Vellum. Something. But yeah, so it's um, yeah, it's in the clearance out, rack with the painted glass stamp set. So that's retiring as well. So we uh, we thought we'd use some retiring products, and there's a video for this uh, fasted gift box so um it folds flat but you can fill it up as well i've undone it but it looks like it's pretty that so check out the videos for those so for the stamping global stamping video hop and on our wednesday facebook live we created some cards masculine cards using high tide so this is um Staying on the catalogue actually, which is great. So, um, what? so I'm just laughing at it. One of the comments that should just come through. I uh, think it's Jan. Gi um, you just um, hopped on and saying she's loving the haircut. Oh. And I'm thinking, Seth, he hasn't had a haircut, he's just washed it. <laughs> oh. It's true. <laughs> I just sweeped it over. Yeah, I washed it and it was fluffy, so I just kind of like put some water in it and it went down. Thanks. <laughs> so this one is the high tide using Come Sail Away DSP as well. Two-step stamping, which is great. And um, loving your knot there, Barry. My knot, yes. Your knot. And I created this one on the Facebook Live using the hinge step technique with the stamp wrappers. Again, using the high tide stamp, which is the light from the lighthouse. And this one using another... Uh, color combination which is a uh, hashtag keep stamping from stamping up so using a uh, pretty peacock early espresso <laughs> crumb cake uh, as well and this one is like it's a uh, kind of like up step up. down version of no it. this well, one is a step top version yes and this is a step up. down version yes <laughs> yeah because you there's a couple of layers in there but yes, uh, that's what we've been doing and we've been concentrating on um, getting our online class up and ready. So we do have a masculine online card class coming up in a couple of weeks and the booking for the card kits for that is on Tuesday. Yes, so but it is open to the rest of the world for the, for the class in general because we'll be holding it as a video live video and recording it so if you're in a, if you're in another part of the world and you still want to join us for the class we do have an option there for the instructions and the video option so you can either join us live if you can and um, depending on time zones or you can catch the recording as well um, but obviously you'd have to either have the own your own stamp sets or purchase them from a demonstrator in your country um, so yeah, so that's why we've done some online classes because it opens it up to all of you. So if you want to come and join us on a little private class, then um, we can have a bit of fun. Yes. 
So yes, yeah, so the male, the masculine one coming up, the, the one, Jay's gonna be doing a little bit of coloring as well, so it's gonna be using some watercolor pencils, so you will need some of those. Um, and I'm, I'm just picking Jay up here, he's gonna, obviously gonna give you a little bit of a coloring, coloring masterclass. You know, it's, some it's, basic, some it's, basic it's tips. Really is, easy, it's, yeah. it's really, really easy. Yeah. But some basic Using tips with some watercolor pencils. pencils. Yeah. And you so. can see just about there. Um, I've been redoing some of our My Meadow cards because we would like to put that out as an online class as well. But yes. you will definitely need the stamp set for it because it's loads of stamping. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, Create yeah, different we, scenes. We can send you the cardstock and the and die cuts and embossings emboss, but we're not allowed to send you stamped images. So which is why you will need to have your own stamp sets for certain classes. Um. So yeah. So just put that out there. It's open to all of you. All right. So I just don't think you live in another country. You can't join us for an online class. I'm just going to shut that window for yeah. a moment. <laughs> yes. So um, who's in? Hi, Jana, Gian. Linda, Donna, and Sandra, thanks for joining us. So for today, uh, you would have seen the banner where we're using the piece of cake stamp set with the co coordinating punch, cake builder punch. Uh, we thought this is quite a, a nice stamp to make um, masculine male cards as well, or for kids cards as well, because who doesn't love cakes? So you can all always just change up the color combinations and create that into um kind of like yeah. kids cards and i'm doing card. i'm doing one today i suppose mine's more of a it's a i'd say it's more of a kids card my version today yeah. it's very it's a childish card um using it's a suitable for the younger the younger boys and, and girls i think so if you just use it as a different kind of card yeah, base just different um, combinations i suppose the i suppose i kind of kept it more on the 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 younger the the young the boys side of it more than the, the girls as opposed to color combination which I've used yeah using um, the birthday bonanza birthday bonanza the paper yeah. so all of the stuff which we're using is retiring and is leaving us um come June all right so if you like this stuff and you want to get it then get it sooner rather than later um because we can't guarantee whether or not stocks are going to be available and there's some big savings to be had and some stuff at the moment up to 60 so, percent so much so that i'm even tempted to buy it but i've sort of like myself i can't don't we shouldn't come because it's retiring we can't use it again we got but so much kids <laughs> i like it <laughs> but it's a, it's a bit of bonus so that's what i'm going to be doing and jay's going to be doing something as well i think with another retiring some retiring dies as well i think yes Yes, so um, even though I said masculine, I think mine with the colors that I've used. I think yours is like, more feminine. Yeah. Yours is more teenage girl. Yeah. I think the colors, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see. We'll see. Cool. Like, uh, yeah, be interesting to see what your opinions are of it, what, whether or not our theme <laughs> I think has, go. um, whether or not, we, yeah, we think it's a, a young boy and obviously a, a, te a teenage girl, whether or not you agree with us. So let us know in the comments. So good. All right, let's flip you around. Yeah. You can stand up now. I can. I <laughs> you can. Oh. Okay, so someone just said that the picture breaking up. Let us know if there is problems with the picture even more. Um, we'll try and keep an eye on it, but I don't know if it's us. It might be your internet connection. Come on. Okay, so as we mentioned, yeah, we're using the Birthday Bonanza designer series paper. So we've got some lovely... It's... it's it's comical, it's cartoony, you've got the little toucans here and you've got some nice patterns on it as well, you've got the little koalas. So really nice designer series paper. And that's what I'm using. So page, page 33 out of the mini catalog, all right? So good. All right, let's crack on. Um, get some stuff. I would also be using the rectangle stitched frame that dies as well. These are a go-to for us. These are staying over, which is great. Um, so it's a good time to invest in these um, and get them. They're a go-to. They just add a nice different um, texture and different background to your... or edging to your, to your stamping. Okay, so I'm going to cut. So what I've decided to use, I've used the grey granite cardstock. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this slightly different sizes. I'm going to own up. When I did my... Um, when, it's when my I, fault. It's, yeah, it's Jay's fault. When I did my 
prototype this morning. I picked up a bit of cardstock, which I thought was A5 size. Went ahead, cut it down, scored it at 14.5 centimeters down the middle. It doesn't match up, no, because Jay's gone and put, cut a very tiny sliver off of it and put it back in one there. One centimeter. A one centimeter strip off of it. Put it back in there where I would just go and grab the card yeah. bases and it doesn't match up. It was for the color coach for our teammates. So I, I worked with it. I went with it. So I'm going to cut it down to 14.6. So I'm going to, I'm going to carry on with it. And I would normally now just score this at 10 and a half, but I'm actually going to just cut this down to 20 centimeters. Take off a one centimeter strip, which I'm going to give to Jay and he can save for another time so he doesn't have to ruin <laughs> another bit of paper. <laughs> and now I'm going to score it at 10 and a half. And what this has done, as I found out, I thought, okay, that looks a little bit odd. It's now, I haven't got a card which matches, but I worked with it. So I'm just going to fold and burnish this all up. Maybe just restart the, um, restart the video and see whether or not that catches up. But obviously it probably won't matter too much when we're down like this. Might sort that speech problem out. Um, what I'm also going to do, so I've got the birthday bonanza paper. So you, this is orientation specific. All right, so again, be, just be aware of your paper when you're cutting it, because if I cut it this way and I want a card which is going to be going this way, all of my animals and whatever it is I've got on there are going to be the wrong way around. So just, just think about it before you cut into it. Is it orientation sp specific and how you're going to cut? All right, so I'm going to cut this here at nine centimeters by 14.1 centimeters, okay? And that part is going to sit over the top of this one right here. I also now want to have a bit which is one inch so I want to cut a one inch strip off this is going to be my inner part so one inch or two and a half centimeters sorry I flick between inches and centimeters quite easily um, so I do apologize for that so I need one which is for that and then I'm not worried about this one being um, orientation specific because I'm going to use the back side of this paper and I'm going to cut this to 9.5 centimetres. Sorry. Um, just need to just double check. To 9 centimetres, not 9.5. All right. So let's go over that again. So this is 9 by 14.1. I've got a nine by however long that one is. That's so about 3.7, I think it is, but it's the off cut. So I've not worried about that one too much because I first of all, okay. So I did a nine by 14.1 left me with a big strip this way. I took a, a two and a half or a one inch by the length off of that one, which left me an off cut. I'm not, the width I want the same. So I've just cut that down to nine centimeters to give me another panel. So that basically that's going to sit over the top of that one. So it's the same width as this one here. All right. And all you're left with is just some designer series paper out of that six by six, which is that. So you could use it. You could punch something out of this. You could fussy cut some of these little animals out, even though they might be a little bit fiddly because they're quite small. But you can do something with it or they can just go in a bin. It's entirely up to you. All right. So. Let's have some um, stamping going on. So let's put all of that to one side and we'll come back to that one in a moment. I'm going to also be doing some die cutting. As I said, we'll be with the stitched rectangle framelit die. So I'm going to die cut one out of this size here. And then I'm going to stamp one out on this one. And then I'm going to have that one die cut out on that one there. So let's do some 
die cutting, please, Jay. Could you do me a favour, actually? Yeah. Sorry. Could you just die cut that one out for me? Okay. And I'll get my stamps ready. There's his. So you build this one up. So we have the the cake base, and we have the cake itself. And then we'll pick a sentiment in a moment. There you go. Thank you very much. So Jay's kindly cut this one out for me, which is the and it obviously was well mentioned. It is giving you a nice stitched edge. All right, so a little tip for you. I'm going to punch these out, but what I found was if we stamp them down first where we want them, and then we can then use that as a layer, as a guide for sticking everything on. So we're actually just going to build this up first. So I'm going to do my base is going to go there, which is fine. I'm going to take my cake and this is also handy for the top part as well and I'll show you what I mean on that one so I'm going to pop my cake on the stand like so which is there and you've got the toppers for the cake so you've got some candles you've got some lollipops um, so I'm going to go with the, I think I'm going to go with some candles there on this one. So I'm, I'm going to be colouring these in, in with blends. So I'm, that's why I'm using the Memento ink. Now I'm going to bring the candles down a little bit lower and go into the cake. Don't worry, I mean to do this. Because the candles, if I put them directly on top of the cake, they're going to be too high for me. And I want them to be a little bit lower so I can get a sentiment in at the top here. All right. So let me just show you what I've done. So I've just given it a layout there at the moment. And I've overlapped the cake and the candles. But it's not a problem. Because I'm going to now stamp these again. So on another bit of paper. So another bit of Whisper White. I'm going to stamp these again. So let's take my base and I will do that one like that. We'll take the cake itself and I'll do the cake in a second. I don't worry about lining these two up and punching out together. I'll punch one out first. And then I'll go in with the with the other one. So I'll have a bit of an, an off cut or something. Is there a smaller piece of um, the scrap whisper whites over there, please, Jay? No, that's true. Yeah, the scraps, that's good. This is where your scrap paper of Whisper Whites come in handy so you don't waste anything. So I'm gonna just stamp my cake in there and then I will then pop it into my punch and then just punch out my, my cake. There we go, and I haven't got any wastage there. So just, again, just think it through before you do that of how it's gonna cut. All right. If you're a regular of this, you'll know me. I've gotta tidy up as I've gotta go along. I'm not like Jay, I can't. So I have to clean and clean as I go. So I'm using the stamp and scrub just to give the stamps a clean and a dry. 
Right. Yeah, they'd have dropped it. And the candles. Hi, Lisa. Like that. I'm going to take the happy birthday stamp out because that's the one which I'm going to use. But there's some nice sentiments on here as well. Um, so I like cake as the answer. That's one of my favourite ones on there. But, I wonder why. Uh, I wonder why, yes. So enjoy every crumb. Cut the cake. Happy birthday. So, um, yeah, I'm not worried about the Mr and the Mrs, but it might be for you. <laughs> so, but, yeah, who cares what the question is? Cake is the answer. Always. <laughs> so I'm going to leave the happy birthday out. So let's do some colouring. So I've picked some very, I've, I've picked mint macaron or mint macaroon, whatever you want to call it, for this one. And I'm just going to colour in my cake. Jack, I've just realised it's a little bit dark over here. We haven't got the light set up. Oh. I'm not doing anything fancy with the colouring. I'm just doing some block colouring on the cake. Nothing, nothing complicated. And I'm just going to then just colour in with a strip. Yes, then I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use the melon mango light. Melon mango? Mango melody. <laughs> I say that every time. Mm, two of my favourite fruits. Melon to colour in these. Now, the reason I picked these colours is that they are, well, the mint macaron isn't a coordinating colour within this car pack, but we haven't got that in a blend. So I picked the one which is closest to it, which I thought. Um, well, I picked mint macaron because it was the closest to one of the other colours in which was used. So that's why my decision in on that. So just go for what you think is you've got and the closest to it for colour coordination. I think it was Coastal Cabana, wasn't it? And um, Bermuda Bay. But Bermuda Bay was too... Um, I thought it was a little bit too strong for me. But I might actually, could you pass me over a Bermuda Bay light, please, Jay? I will use that briefly because I just want to put like a little, I want to do a darker ribbon. So this part down the bottom down here is what I would class maybe as the cake ribbon. but I didn't want to do the whole cake in this colour, so which is why I picked mint, picked mint macaron as the lighter icing on the cake. So there we go. That's my cake coloured. With the base, I will, I'm going to try and do a little bit of gradient shading on this one here. So I'm just going to use the bullet point. I'm using the lights. I'm going to colour that in. Like so. Very quiet when you come out. Um. So again, if you're not you're not comfortable with colouring, then just leave it as it is with just just colouring in and not trying to do anything fancy. And then I'm going to grab the dark, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to just darken a little bit down here and the edge. Almost like it's a little bit of shading. And then I'm going to grab the light again. And then I'm just going to blend that 
the seam out a little bit. And that may, it, it, you may see it, it's just giving it a little bit of shading on there. It'll bring that one up to, I could spend a little bit more time on that one and then that would probably work a little bit better. Um, but I'm happy with how that looks. Okay, so that's it. So that's your blends sorted. There was another card which I did and I actually used the Winker Stellas and the ink pads to colour in as well, but I'm, I've left that video for another project. So um, yes, watch this space. We will need some dimensionals here as well. Whilst you're doing some stuff, Jay, could you just die cut? Yeah. So uh, Jay's just gonna die cut me out a, um, a layer here with rectangle stitched in Bermuda Bay. So do that for me, thank you very much. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab myself some dimensionals here. And I'll grab my take you my pick tool or take your pick tool. And I'm using the mini dimensionals because they are perfect for these smaller creations because they fit on nicely. And you may be wondering why we got blue lines in all of our dimensionals. We put blue lines on them because then they're easy to identify or any line, whatever blend or colour and marker pen you've got, they're easy to identify what ones have still got the backings on. So as I'm picking all of these off, as I take them off, I can identify that one has got the backing taken off and that one hasn't. So it's not too bad on these smaller projects when you've got little bits, but it's quite handy when you're using lots of dimensionals. I don't actually need the ink pads. I'm just going to leave that there for a moment. I'm just going to grab the Mango Melody again and I'm just going to colour in, just dot in some of this on the flames on those candles. And I'm going to grab the Bermuda Bay as I've got it again, using the bullet point here just to gently kind of colour in the candles don't need much just so there's a little bit of color on them okay so let's stamp my sentiment on here now so i decided to use the happy birthday i, took, I prematurely took the backing off but that's what don't worry that's fine I'm going to use the happy birthday here. And I'm just going to stamp that up the top. Like so. There we go. Now I'm ready to stick these on. So we start with the card base, and all we're doing is we're just sticking these back over the top of the stamped images. So when you're looking at it as well, they will see the stamped image through it. So it kind of looks a little bit complete underneath as well. I quite like that effect. And then the cake is then gonna sit on top of the stand. And you see, it didn't matter that we overlapped the, the candles because the cake is gonna cover it over again. So there we go. And that's a cake built up on some dimensionals there. Let's grab some glue, please, Jay. I know it's there, I've got it by the side of me, I couldn't, so I couldn't see it. There we go, I thought it'd be moved. That's fine, and we're gonna just... What's people's favorite cake? Mine's chocolate. Mm. Well, yeah, okay, Jay likes chocolate cake. What cake does everyone else like? I like a good old Victoria sponge. With fondant icing, like this. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> Jay doesn't bake me cakes. 
can't bake. He wouldn't know how to. <laughs> we should have a baking session one day, Jay. No, no Apple's response lovely. <laughs> it's okay. You don't want to bake me a cake. Lemon drizzle. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, like a lemon drizzle. My mum's fruit cake. Mm, yes, mums, mums make the best cakes, don't they? I've got to say that, my mum's watching. <laughs> <laughs> but she does make the best cakes. <laughs> there we go. So that's on there. All right. Let's just give myself a little bit of room and just clear up a little bit. Pop my dimensionals away because I'm finished with those for the moment. Um, all right, let's grab my bits back. I'm actually nearly done now, Jay, because all I've got to do is just stick all of this together and I'm done. Okay. Okay. He's now gone into panic mode. Um, one thing I didn't do, I need the trimmer. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to cut this down to... Um, 14.1 centimetres. So I've just taken a little bit off the top because this is going to be on the inside of the card. So I'm using the back side here. So I'm going to colour it. I'm going to glue down the, the animals. Mini, don't go up there. The glue seems to have... I might need a pin, please. My glue seems to have um, blocked up. Do you need a pin? Yes, please. It's because I left it open with the lid. So if you get that problem and your glue nozzle, it's because you've probably left it open. So I have a oh. pin handy. Just give it a little bit of a poke. And then you'll be fine. That's just going to go on the inside, like so. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done this initially, um, but because, like I say, at the beginning, Jay left me an odd piece of paper in the full paper pack. I'm going to blame him for this. So, but I actually like what happened, so it's a happy accident. All right. We're then going to take this one, so I'm going to use the the animals as what I want as the front of this. But if you wanted to turn this into more of a, a more of an more of an, an older an older male, then I would you just use a different type of paper. But I think because I'm using the animals, it makes it a bit more childish. Mum's made a farmhouse fruit cake. Did you make us one? One whole piece. <laughs> yeah, a whole cake. <laughs> you can leave it on the doorstep tomorrow and I'll come and pick it up. <laughs> leave it in the garden. There we go. And this piece here, I'm going to have as a contrasting colour which is going to go over the middle part here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to glue it down. And the reason I did this is because my animals were the wrong way around. So I couldn't do it. I couldn't have it. It looked odd if I had that back paper and this one because the animals would have been going the wrong way around. So that's kind of the reason why I decided I went this way. But it's just because I didn't want to cut into any more paper. Uh, I wanted to use the six by six piece of paper, which I had. So... I suppose it depends on how it will depend on how you cut it and how much you've got to use. So that's going to go in there, just as kind of like a little bit of a a break. Ooh. Ow. I do need my dimensionals back out again. And we'll take your pick tool, and all I'm going to do now is just stick this on, and then I'm done. Hint, hint, Jay, it's your turn to move over. <laughs> That's fine. 
side and let us come up a little. So we use a few on here because I'm using a larger, a larger panel. I'm using more dimensionals, but again, the more dimensionals I'm using, the harder it is to see what I've taken the backing off. Do you want to just close those windows, please, Jay? I thought you closed them. I, cl I only closed one of them, but. Just whilst we're doing a video. Right, I've done a, another card. Lovely. And then that's going to go over the top of this, like so. Get that one straight. And voila, we have one finished card. And it's a, and it's a bit of a, a, a different fold as well. I quite like it because it thumbs it and it's easy to open up as well. A little bit there. And it just adds a little contrast down the side. So it's just a different style card. And like I say, do you agree? Does that, is that, I think that's more of a, a young, a younger man, isn't it? It could be sort of, be a young girl as well. Um, it's, but yeah. Let's see whether or not you agree. That's a great card. Thank you very much. So yes, yeah, so there was my original one. Exactly the same. I've decided to use a different stamp on this particular one and I used a difference on the top. Here I used the lollipops on that particular one. And yes. So on this one, I didn't actually stamp it down on a bit of paper first. I stamped the sentiment down and worked myself down. And I felt it was easier to stamp the layout down first just so you can get the positioning of the, the topper on the cake was better. So stamp down and then stick over your punched out elements on top. So there we go. There is my two cards. Nice. So I'm going to pass you over to Jay. He's going to be using exactly the same stamp set again. Yeah. Um, but he's going to be doing something completely different with it. Yes, I thought I'd change my... Um original designs Ooh, okay. Interesting. and create more of a kind of like kitty kitty card but um if you stay tuned i'll show you the other two that i created which is more feminine um is this so i've got smoky slate instead of gray granite and i've gone ahead and i've actually die cut some of the elements from the stitch labels framelits dies or stitch label dies. Uh, this comes with 10 dies and it's quite cool because you have the background um, where it just perforates the card uh, and it's got the dashes on there and it there's a cross hatching as well. Um, topper frame and a couple of label ones on there as well. So I've gone ahead and done my card base, as I said. Did you want a happy birthday stamp? Um, yeah, why not? Right. I don't actually know what stamps I'm going to be using. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm not going to tidy up anymore, then. <laughs> I've also done uh, three of the circular ones in pool party. And then the cross hatching. This one is Coastal Cabana, and it measures... I do not know. Um, where's the... Can you just pass me the trimmer? Thank you. That was my fault. I put it there. This was just a, one of our offcuts. And um, so that one's three and a quarter, three quarters even by five and a quarter. Yeah. This, yeah, this was just one of our offcuts and I pretty much just done, I wasn't too careful on trying to make it straight even because the magnetic platform just kind of like wobbles it anyway, but it just adds to the design, I think. I got a couple of offcuts of Mango Melody, again, using the DSP as uh, inspiration for the color combinations. Um, I don't even know what these are. So half an inch by four and three quarters and seven eighths of an inch by three inches so those ones I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna make it up on the cardstock but first I'm gonna stamp on the card base 
with the candles. I'll do the candles, that's a bit more kind of like not as kitty. And I'm just gonna stamp that across in oh where's all your stamps? Barra's taking all of the ink pads. So I'll just use Coastal Cabana, the first thing that I've picked up. I didn't think you were using them because that was my from my early rock. That's fine. Um, and I'm just gonna do I think it's straight, but I don't think it matters too much. <clears throat> So just, that's just gonna be my, kind of like my banner across. And with this one, I'm just gonna put these at the back. So it's got a hint of, you can see through on there. And it just gives it a bit more color. Just place that so you can at least see some of the stamping against there. And then I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to tuck that in but have it in, at an angle. go and then these ones I'm gonna put on top and then I'm gonna put some stamping and then I think that's it <laughs> so um, I think because of the kind of like the slanted edges it makes it a bit more modern and um, quite I don't know I think it's ooh what was that something fell There we go, and we'll do some stamping in Whisper White. And as I said earlier, I do like my chocolate cake. So uh, I think this one is quite good for that. And I'm just gonna stamp that in Early Espresso, which I had here. Stingy, so it goes out Very. there. <laughs> Where's the scissors? I don't know. I didn't okay, need scissors. Do you need scissors? And what you could do is either use your wink of Stella or a uh, aqua painter. And then Aqua Painter is um, leaving us, but it will be um, replaced with three other things. But these are quite cool. Uh, one is a uh, thicker nib, and the other one. So, if you want to add more shading, you can do so with. The inks, and I'm just gonna put yellow uh, mango melody in there. Or you can use your Stampin' Right markers. What um, what filling is or uh, yellow? Orange. 
marmalade, mm. lemon icing, um, lemon curd. Nice. Just punch that up. Oh, maybe I should have. Oh, well. Should have gone red for like a fruit forest. I was just trying to keep it a couple of colors at the time. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we didn't, but obviously you change it to what color, what colors the um, the recipient's favorite cake, I guess. And we have, can you pass me smoky slate, please? What, a full shade? Uh, no, I just want to. Off cut. Yeah. I'm trying to find the, the folder amongst all of everything chucked on the floor, shall I? <laughs> Yes, of course. Um, what else is there? So whilst we're waiting, uh, nature's twine, you get four in different colors. And it's quite cool because uh, with the birthday bonanza, uh, like the grapefruit grove kind of like goes with it. How much are you actually after? I just need it for the stand. So I'm gonna use that one. The other two cards that I created, I used these two, so you will see that in a second. For the I, stand, did you say? Yeah. Okay, actually, there you go. Thanks. So with the stand, I'm I'm gonna use. I might as well, I'll just use early espresso in second generation. So where is the stand? Scrap paper? What scrap paper? Oh. It's scrap paper. Too slow, Barry, too slow. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's giving me evil looks now. Mm -hmm. There we go. So it just lightens it, but then it, it still matches with the cake. And the punch is here. Just punch that in. This can be, I should have done it that way, but oh well. Here you go, Paris notes. That way. Put that in with a bit of cut here. Ta -da. Right, nearly done. And that's just going to be put on top there. Actually, dimensionals. Have you got it here? They're buried somewhere right in front of you right now. <laughs> As always. <laughs> Has anyone got this set? Have you made quite a bit of it? Made use of it? We have used it quite a bit. We have used um, it quite a bit. But now that good. It's been with us a couple of years now, hasn't it? Has it been yeah. two years it's been with us? So yeah, it, was, it has been used a few. We've used it in class a few times as well, haven't we? Yes, we have, so. actually. There we go, and then just add that on, and then we can just tie a bow. What's a, what's a manly knot? I don't know, you were spending ages. Yeah, I was, I was, I knots. was googling it the other, the other, um, the other day, last week for the Global Summer Video Hub, but, um, I wasn't too successful, so I'm just gonna bow. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a bow. <laughs> or just a knot. But I suppose you've got no, like I did with my card, but yeah. Um, so you can either slot it in, yeah, we'll do it on top there. Oops, 
oops. I do like taking scissors. Thanks. Are you comfortable crafting there? What, with, with Tommy behind yeah. me? He's, uh, Jay's got a tiniest amount of seat and the cat Tommy has taken up the rest of it. So this one normally comes in three strands within some more strands. So just take a couple of strands and take it off. Make it last longer if you want to. And it, it doesn't, it's not as bulky as well. This is why we don't use up any of our, any of our stock is because Jay makes it go a long way. <laughs> But it does make that thicker ribbon um, twine easier to tie knots into, doesn't it? Because yeah. it's actually just made it thinner and more messy. So. Right. And just, and that is that. Oh, and sentiment. Upside down bow, why not? Throwing out all the rules. Sorry, I do like making it. There you go. Juge it up. Eh. And sentiment. Whisper white. And then we can just cut that off. Happy birthday. Which was in here. And. Do you want a label? Classic label. Oh, is that what you use? No, I didn't. But it would work for that one, probably, wouldn't it? Yeah, we can try. So again, I'm just using the early espresso, uh, probably the memento would be good as well, but that's kind of like near enough black as well. So you can either fussy cut that out or a good one. It's the classic label punch, which is staying with us, which is great. And it just fits on there. It does fit quite a quite a lot of sentiments as well, itty bitty greetings. And then you can either reinsert it and then cut that off, but I'm just gonna cut that off and have that there in dimensionals. So I thought, I, yeah, I did do, as I said, two cards, but it was more, uh, more feminine so I thought I'll change it up slightly just by using pretty much the same elements uh, using the same stamp set and the same elements but changing the colors that I've, uh, I've used although I did use pool party on there 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 you go. Look at you. I'm surprised it's got no splats on it. I know, well... You wanted to, didn't I you? I did. Well, why but, did you splat it? Well, that's another... What what um, stamping blends did you use? I used... You can splat. Have, have you guys splat with your ink pads? I, I used Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody and Mint Macaron. And the grey. So just to show you, um, use your ink pad. You, it's easier with stamping blends. Um, but if you don't have the stamping blends and you want to use like the same colors, use your ink pad and then water it up with your aqua painter and then just tap it down. Like so. Ooh, it's not doing it. There we go. It needs more. Just hints of it is fine. And because it, this is quite uh, watery, it does lighten the ink a little bit more than usual. 
There we go. It, at least it's got a hint on there. It's just it's just um, added a little bit of interest to the to the playing card. Or you stock. can reinsert it into the lid. <laughs> it's a bit more. Never mind. I'm surprised he did that. Actually. There you go. <laughs> now it made it look teenagery. Teenagery. <laughs> Just splat it. That's fine. Sounds good. Yeah. So yeah, we'll pop up the camera and I'll show you the other two cards that I created today with the piece of cake. Lovely. Are you gonna do that? Can face to face? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So let's flip you round. Tommy has made an appearance now. It's confetti, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Tommy. Um, just wait for that to dry, but yeah, there's the card from today and Barry's card. And my one there. And so, yes, yes, so, and with my mistake fold, which Jay. Mistake fold. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was doing color coaches for the new Timmy. So they oh, was that what it was from? Yeah, was it? so oh, I okay. needed one centimeter um, to to get to give but them it was all a happy, the colors. But it was a yeah. happy accident. It was. Um... So here are. <laughs> there we go. So here's the another card using piece of cake, and the stitch label dies there. So having that propped up on thing. And then using a different cake on there. And as I said, with the perforated design there. And then another one, this one using the Stamparatos hinge step technique. Uh, so if you can see in Bull Party and then the same cake, but in Bermuda Bay there, which I thought was quite, um, quite feminine because of the colors that I've used on there. There we go. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna. Is it? Yeah, is that who meant that? Yeah, no, is it? Yes. Um. Yeah. Tommy's tail is weird. It's a very strange, strong tail, and it never goes down. It's always. Yeah, he takes it's always with up. Him. So he's he's a hook. He's here. Hook. So um, <laughs> he walks across everything. <laughs> oh, right. Thank you again for uh, joining us today. Don't forget to. Gives us a, give us a thumbs up if you have enjoyed yourselves and the uh, cards that we created. It just helps us out our channel. And if you haven't done so, sub subscribe to our channel as well. Yeah, I've just seen his tail flapping around on the video. Yeah. His tail responds to his name as well. Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> he, he wags it like a dog. I'm sure he thinks he's a dog. Tommy! <laughs> so I've just got to show you quick. He's laying down on my project at the moment. So, yes. Thank you, Donna. So, yeah, so I'm pleased you liked that. Look at that, under an hour. Yes. We're getting this down to a fine art now, yes. aren't we? So that's good. All right. Um, it would be will... under an hour if you... Stop talking about a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's just seen himself on the camera. <gasps> no, there's a fly. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay, off it goes. Lovely. All right, we're just waffling now. Yes. Um, yeah, so remember to head over to our online shop if you like anything which you, you'd like to purchase anything from the what you've seen us using today. Booking for classes as well is on our via our website, samatusicrafts.com. So as we said at the beginning, Worldwide is open to you to join us in the video group and the instructions are available for you as well. So head over to matusicrafts.com if you want to join us for any of our classes. Cool. All right. Thank you We're so done. much. Thanks, guys. Take we care. will see you on Wednesday, if not beforehand. We'll see you Wednesday. All right. Have a good night, good day, whatever. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Thank you so much. Anyway, Bye. <laughs>